Hello my friends. I may have done two advent calendar unboxings on my channel already this advent calendar season but I am back with another one. You can't stop me. I just love advent calendars. Today we have one. It is sitting behind me so you can probably see it already. It looks like it's going to be a really really good one. We'll leave that there for a minute. The advent calendar that we are unboxing today as you've probably seen in the title is the Glossy Box Advent Calendar for 2020. I have the leaflet right here. This says that there are spoiler alerts in this leaflet. Basically, we don't want to look at this just yet, but I will have a brief look at it at the end just to check the value of things because we don't want to ruin any of the surprises inside. Let's take a look at it. This is a heavy one, potentially the heaviest of the lot. I think maybe the biggest of the lot. Look at it. It is beautiful and I have had a sneak peek so I know that this one is not just doors it's drawers look at it have you ever it's so big I don't even think I can get in the frame with it look at it is that not the most beautiful advent calendar you've ever seen in your life now I think that this year's advent calendar is called there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy it says that here on the side of the box I think that's what it's called and obviously it says glossy box down here now I'm gonna put this thing down because it is so heavy basically they come out like this oh day one is in here so that's good and then the boxes are in each one I will do them in order so we know that door one is in there but um I'm just gonna have to kind of look up I don't I don't think they're in order in the boxes I don't think they are anyway but we'll we'll see Without further ado, let's open this up and see what we have in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar 2020. I love Glossy Box. I think the products are always great. You get some really great brands. So I'm expecting a lot for this. And then at the end, we'll have a look at the value and the price that it costs, the prices it's worth, etc. This is a heavy, heavy advent calendar. Door one feels very light. So I actually think this is maybe some sort of like accessory rather than a product oh I was kind of right so when I said accessory I thought maybe like a loofah or a sponge or something sponges little mini beauty blenders complexion contouring kit this is great I use a beauty blender or you know other branded alternatives to this every day to do my foundation but I use the same one currently to do my concealer around my eyes so actually having like a little one is going to be really useful this is great absolutely great first product so impressed this is from brushworks and it is a complexion and contouring kit with some little sponges aha and we've got a little thinner box again quite light these boxes are deceiving you know because this is a thin product what <gasps> Ila Masca liquid eyeliner pad. Stop it. Ila Masca is such a high-end brand. I use liquid eyeliner all the time. Got it on right now and I need a new one because the one I'm using at the minute is not creating a thin enough line. Very pleased with that. Door two, I mean, already. Brushworks is not a brand I know, but the product is going to be really useful. And Ila Masca is a brand that I know, I know is high end i know is quite pricey and it's a product that i'm going to use so okay door three the little a little box yeah again feels very light oh fishing out this is a brand that i've heard a lot about phil philorga is that how you say it supreme multi-correction cream i don't know what this is ignore my nails i have no idea what this is what a multi-correction cream is I don't know but I've heard a lot about it like the brand itself I've seen a lot of people use it I think it's stocked in places like M&S it's pretty kind of like mid to I would say mid to higher end of mid-range in terms of pricing so there's a little sample size good to try I guess because uh, I've never tried a brand like that so please with that here we are day four I already know, I already know the green lid. I already know, I know what brand this is. This is gonna be, okay, mark my words, all I've seen is the lid, this is gonna be pixie. Did you see, did you see that? Did you see what I just did? 
Pixie skin treats or just Pixie is what I call it. The Glow Mist, I have one of these on the go already. Pixie is a great brand, kind of mid to mid range, I would say, you know, with some things that are slightly more expensive, some things that are cheaper, but I would say it's like a really good mid range brand. I use a lot of their products, I use a lot of them daily. Wow, yeah, really pleased. Like, you know, it's a full size product, it's got an RRP to it, you can see exactly how much it costs. We love that. Okay, day five. For a minute, I thought we, we didn't have a product. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I got the Body Shop advent calendar this year and there is actually a Body Shop charcoal mask in this calendar, which is great actually, because I didn't think that you would find anything from a brand like the Body Shop in the Glossy Box calendar. In my case, obviously, I already have a mini charcoal mask, but the mini charcoal mask is brilliant and I was really pleased to see it in the Body Shop advent calendar. So now I've just got more, more of that. Can't fault it. Ha. Ooh, day six is a big one. It's the entire length of the box. Okay, it's big, but it's quite light. Can we see that is a hefty box. What have we got? A pink lid. I was about to say, is this gonna be Lee Stafford? Oh, I love Lee Stafford. It's such a like um, nostalgic brand for me. Lee Stafford, not a uh, range I have ever tried from Lee Stafford, so that's good. Lee Stafford Hair Apology Intensive Care Leave-In Spray. Very interesting, that looks nice. I'm really trying to um, look after my hair at the minute after getting it slightly blonder, so gonna re rehabilitate and nourish my damaged hair so or critically process them my hair is processed full-size product really generous uh size good value to it which is what we like to see day seven was in the same drawer as day six and i just spent the whole time ripping open the calendar because it's got seven written in words rather than numbers oh okay interesting so this is one of the new Glossy Box, ooh, okay. Glossy Box have launched skincare recently. So it's like their own brand skincare. They used to just have like products from brands, but now they have skincare. So I haven't tried any of it yet. So this is really interesting because I've heard some good stuff. This is Glossy Box skincare. It's a three in one moisturizer and it says it plumps, primes and protects. So that's very interesting. Again, full size product, I believe. Little tube, so yeah, that's a really, um, really generous size it's vegan cruelty free recyclable so that's good because they've just launched that so it's good they've managed to hit all of those criteria as well good opportunity to try the glossy box skincare as well i think it's quite affordable as well so that is really good oh eight is humongous it's like a bloody shoe box in there what's that oh bath bomb oh lovely bubble tea a brand i know a brand that i think feature quite a lot in glossy boxes over the years it's a bath bomb so that's really nice and it's a winter berry smell can't smell it through the packaging but i'm sure it's very nice i do like getting stuff like that in an advent calendar like little treats that you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself very light again oh, okay it's light because it's an eyebrow pencil actually very useful because i need a new eyebrow pencil this is an eyebrow pencil from MUA. What shade is this actually? Because it's risky putting something that requires a shade in an advent calendar. Mid-brown. I mean, mid-brown works for me. It wouldn't necessarily work for everybody, but it is one of the lower value products in the calendar. So it's something that you can give away if needs be, like give it to somebody in their Christmas present or something like that, or as their Christmas present. So that's quite good because it's not like, you're not like, oh, I can't use it, you know. Most people can use a mid-brown in some sense, so it's decent, I'm pleased. I can use it anyway. I've misplaced door 10. I can't find door 10. I'm gonna take them all out. Okay, so it's not there. Have I lost my mind? Or is there no door 10? Have I lost my mind? I mean, we'll move on to door 11 and maybe we'll look at the leaflet afterwards and maybe door 10 is, is some sort of mystery oh what's this you'll be naked in a minute oh 
This is a coffee scrub from Frank and Body, which is a brand that I've seen a lot about. I've never, I've never actually tried. I remember when they started, they were really big on Instagram because they've got this like really nice packaging. They've got quite nice design. It looks like coffee, but it's a body scrub. Very interesting. I look forward to trying that. Can I not find door 12 either? What's happening here? I am so confused. I can see a door 10 and a door 12. I'm trying not to look at any of the other products, but I can't find them in my box. I think I've lost my mind. I think I have lost my mind. Let's just do day, day 13. 13, let's do day, day 13. Okay, we have a sample size of the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum. I love Sunday Riley, so I will definitely be looking forward to trying that out even if it is a little sample size i've had a sample size of like the oils before and they last ages i used it for weeks 14 okay what do we have Ooh. okay this is a brand called e-cooking i've actually had some of their products before in glossy boxes and this is a hand cream it's a really nice size actually and this brand i think is really like natural i think i'm pretty sure it's cruelty free uh, this is vegan it's moisturizing it's natural good it's good to have a brand like that sometimes in um beauty advent calendars because often they don't have them enough day 15 we have a long box feels like one of the heavier doors we've got a box what is this do my eyes deceive me or am i not seeing fenty beauty rihanna's Fenty Beauty is in front of me. Are we sure? Rihanna's Fenty Beauty? Surely not. Look at that packaging. Oh my God, Fenty Beauty. This is one of the matchsticks. I like the most famous products. I can't believe I've got that inside of here. Oh my God, bloody Fenty Beauty. Amazing, well done, Glossy Box. Very, very square. Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals, Prime Time Foundation Primer. Interesting. I think this is one of the, um, yeah, this is one of the like, original products. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, it's a little sample, okay. Nice to try. Enjoying that. Door 17, thank God we have no more missing doors. I'm so confused about that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's, it has a little, oh, Lime Crime lipstick. I've never tried Lime Crime before, but that looks nice. Day 18 we have over here. Sounds like it could be interesting. Oh, I've just chucked it. Day 18. What do you have in store for us, day 18? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, a little sleek pigment. That's really good. Full size product. This is a sleek loose pigment. I've heard a lot about these actually. I think obviously Sleek is quite an affordable brand, but quite like hero products. This is in the color Trance and it's a really nice gold. I like to wear gold on my eyes quite a lot. So I'll definitely get some use out of that. Deceptive boxes. <laughs> Although it is quite good because usually I do like to guess what's inside and um, this does stop me guessing. I'm looking for day 19 and I can't find it. We've got another missing door. I think this might like maybe skip a day every now and then. Like maybe that's, maybe that's a thing. I guess we'll st skip straight to door 20. Maybe it's like a 20 door or something. I don't know, I'll count them at the end. Door 20, here we have it. Oh, what's this? Huda Beauty, wow. Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick good brand i'm excited to try this i've never tried anything from Huda beauty before that looks nice it looks like it's quite like a oh the lipstick color it's called wedding day i think it's going to be quite like a deep pink maybe or like a deep kind of reddish pink looks like it's going to be nice pleased with that they are pricey as well so we're getting some value there day 21 avant hyaluronic collagen Mark, oh, three in one hydroleron filler collagen eye formula. I guess this must be an eye cream. The sound of a collagen eye filler sounds quite nice to me. I don't think I've heard of that brand. Maybe the logo rings a bell a little bit, but always nice to try something that you've never heard of before. Day 22 is in this drawer. I can't remember which drawer this was, but ooh, 
Dermalogica. Dermalogica, a brand that I've never tried, but my friend raves about this. Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. So this is like brightening powder exfoliant. Oh, I think this is one of their most well-known products. If you don't, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is just like a powder exfoliator, and it's really kind of what they're known for. So that's exciting because if you were to try a product from Dermalogica, I think you would want to try like their best sellers, and I do think that's one of their best sellers. So that's really good and not cheap either. So that's very interesting. Okay, day twenty-three. Another one of these boxes. What do we have? Ooh, Kat Von D volumizing mascara. I'm trying something from Kat Von D at the minute and I've got a couple of other bits to try and actually, I'm really, ooh, they, they look like some good results on that packaging. That's what we want, although I have got lashes on today, so. I do love to test a mascara. I've got a couple of mascara testing videos on this channel. I like to try them out. I don't like to always wear full sashes. I don't wear them that often, but I have got them on today. So it's a good one to try. We're at the big ones. Day 24 and 25. Now 25 is humongous. Maybe 25 is where the other doors are hiding that I couldn't find. I don't know what happened there. Let's do day 24 and see what Christmas Eve has to offer us. Oh, <gasps> nail zinc. Oh, I love nail zinc. Nail zinc, nail varnish. I absolutely love Nail Zinc. Nail Zinc is a great brand. I mean, I say that my nails currently look like this. They are a mess, but this looks like it's gonna be a really nice deep red, kind of autumnal, Christmassy color. Really pleased with that. I actually think this might be one of my favorite products from the whole calendar. Christmas Eve really came through. Are we ready for day 25? I don't know how heavy this is gonna be. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's weighty. I have no clue, I think be a palette oh it's bubble wrapped what is this <gasps> is this from oh my god look at this this looks like day to slay eyeshadow palette this looks like an iconic london eyeshadow palette if i'm not mistaken wow to get this in an advent calendar is insane oh my god look at those colors oh my god this is one of the nicest palettes i've ever seen in my life this is like me in a palette if i were to pick colors to go in an eyeshadow palette i would pick colors like this but you know me i like to get my value when i get an advent calendar and i think that's really going to have brought the value to the advent calendar Guys, I found the missing doors. I found, they were underneath day 25. This one has two layers. How did I miss that? I mean, I didn't open them until I opened day 25. The mystery of the missing doors has been solved. We have day 10, we have day 12, and we have day 19. Let's open them, okay, day 10. Day 10, a Zoeva palette. I absolutely love Zoeva palettes. I used to buy Zoeva palettes all the time. They were like my go-to, like purchase on payday and stuff like that. This is a Zoeva Screen Queen palette. Super pigmentation, easy to blend. It's a highlighting powder palette. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. And it's got a really nice 1920s kind of design on it as well. So that is lovely. Door 10 has been located. Door 12 has been located. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Actually, I've heard a lot about Glow Recipe. It's quite, um, it's becoming quite a cult like Instagram brand. I'm very excited to try that. It's not something I've ever even considered trying. It's just like such a new brand. So that's gonna be really good. And finally, we have day 19. Oh my God, a headband. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. I said in my body shop video that I cannot take my makeup off without wearing a headband, without pushing the hair back on my head. 
I love this. It's got really good tension in it. It looks like it's going to be the perfect size for my small head. I've got a small head and most of the time headbands are a little bit, bit too big for me. This looks like it's got really good stretch in it. Oh my god, I'm so pleased with this. I'm so glad I found the other days. I was completely lost as to where those days were going to be. I do think maybe these days should have been put at the top and 25 behind them because obviously 25 is the last one and I had no idea where they were until I picked up day 25 and I feel like surely someone else is going to have that issue as well. Surely that can't just be me. Oh my god. Just quickly, that eye cream was a full size, that little size, and it is worth £99. So check the description box and I will tell you the individual prices. Okay, now that we've figured out where all the doors are, what do we think of the Glossy Box Advent Calendar? Overall, really impressed. I love Glossy Box. I've always kind of thought that they give you really, really good value for your money. And I don't think the, um, it's, I don't think it's any different here. So the advent calendar, all of the products inside of it add up to £390, but the advent calendar is £80. I think it's pretty good. I mean, the, the full-size palette at the end was £45. So when you consider that one day, that one day and that one product was £45. If you were to buy it from Iconic directly, Iconic, really, really good brand, you can trust that that is the true RRP over half the value is in that one product. So actually that is very good. You do get quite a few little sample sizes, but I think they are nice to try. You do get what you want and you do get the full size products elsewhere that really do make up the value. 390 pounds, I'm very impressed with. What did you think? What was your favorite product? Another advent calendar unboxing. Let me know if you've enjoyed it. I hope you have, and I will see you in the next video.